Big Ed disappointed Liz again. He had previously told her he needed a wife, but this time he told his fiancée, to whom he had proposed to, that he would not allow her to pressure him into marriage. Big Ed Brown met with his mother. It was their first meeting in more than a year. She disapproved of his engagement, but he was still her son. Ed returned home and found Liz in the hot tub. It was the last moment they got along with each other. Liz met with her chef, who detailed an offer to partner in the business. They like the work she does. Liz accepts the offer, but she worries about what Ed will say. Liz knows that Big Ed is deeply insecure. I think marriage has been weighing on my mind a lot, Liz confessed to her fiancé. Then she told him that I would like to eventually start seeing if it's gonna be in our future. Liz needs stability for herself and her daughter Riley to fight for custody. Big Ed told Liz isn't ready to marry anyone just yet. Right now I can't give you an answer on marriage, he replied. Ed felt that marrying Liz now would be nothing more than a divorce contract, but to his fiancé he said he just isn't ready. I know, as I'm thinking about the future now, wanting to be secure, Liz told him. I'm not going to be pressured into getting married, Ed answered her sharply. Shocked and hurt, Liz explained that she just wanted to talk about it, and the weighty priority was that they were engaged. But Ed refused even to start that conversation, saying he was not ready. I'm not telling you I don't want to marry you, Ed declared. And while saying that, he couldn't stop repeating that he wasn't ready. Frustrated, Liz left the room. Ed proposed to me and I want a life with Ed, she said later to the camera. Maybe now it is coming to an ultimatum on my end. Then Liz confessed. I think Ed and I are too different to make this work long term. We'll see, sweetheart, we'll see. Subscribe to my channel, folks, and we'll see it together. Until then, thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video, of course. Bye-bye.